Well, I have so many, so many memories. Kwanzaa activities, the kids going to all their different uh, groups, activities, and when they got to be teens and moving on to that. But what's really great now is that so many of our family memories are now tied to Jack and Jill. Uh, my girls, we joke all the time about the different things, and my son also, you know, and, the, and then they are able to also share their memories with the people that they've met now through college and through their professional lives. So Jack and Jill is just twined into our lives and has been for so many years, and I have so many fond memories. I'm one of those kind of people where I'm, I'm wired to raise my hand, say I'll do it, and I just decided very early after I went to my first mother's conference in 1987 in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and I looked around and I thought this is something that I can make a difference in and this is something that I can prepare myself to make a difference. And I'm not a person that stands back and criticizes and points fingers. If I see that there's an opportunity to improve something or that I might have something to offer in a particular space, then I step up. And so I made that decision pretty early on in my Jack and Jill uh, life at the chapter level and then moving to the regional level and the national level. And it was a conscious choice for me to try to make a difference. Well, my presidency, I think, was probably unique. Uh, I had certainly had some unique challenges that other presidents might not have experienced. But the thing that made me the most proud of that presidency was the fact that I got the support of mothers from across the nation when I needed them and they stood up for our principals, for our tenants, and to preserve the critical uh, tendance of our organization and that has made me so proud and even to this day I have many people who come to me and talk to me about the lessons they learned by watching how that situation played out and how they understood how important it was to stand up for what is right regardless of the circumstances. Well, I, you know, I, when I looked at that question, I was reflecting back, I remembered that down in my basement uh, in some of our archive materials from the Ypsilanti chapter is a letter from the national vice president about the Ypsilanti chapter being uh, accepted for um, being a, a provisional chapter, and it was a carbon copy letter. So a lot of people listening to this video probably have no idea what I'm talking about, a carbon copy, but it was on that, you know, manila vellum paper and it was black. So I, when I'm point, my point is that technology has totally revolutionized the way we connect, the way we communicate, and the way that we can marshal our resources to really further the work of Jack and Jill. Well, I know we've gone through a lot of cycles. There have been times when people have questioned the relevancy of Jack and Jill, but I have continued to maintain it is even more relevant now than it has ever been. And even what has happened in the last couple of years has made it more so. It is critical that we continue to commit to our children and raise them to know that they can do and be and achieve anything if we work together. And that is just so critical right right now because we are in a time where our people are being marginalized, our people are facing so many challenges. And when I say our people, I'm talking about our people universally, our global people. And we need to continue to raise our children to be able to stand in the gap and to continue to serve and to represent ourselves in this critical time. And we are certainly more relevant than we have ever been. Well, we need to continue to wake up. We need to wake up and we need to understand that the challenges that we face in our community, we do not live in isolation. We are not separated from the challenges that face our community. So as long as we continue to be able to get ourselves together and be mindful of the challenges that we have, but that we have resources and we have abilities to help solve those problems. And we continue to focus on raising children who are committed to service, who know that they have a responsibility to our communities, then we will know that we can continue to be relevant for the next 80 years.
Well, it's absolutely critical. Um, I think the, the legislative component that we do, the on the hill summits that we do, the state focus, but we've got to take that to another level. We've got to really foster our children to understand it matters who's on the hill. So if we don't continue to mobilize and understand that voting is critical, voting in our communities is absolutely essential. I really believe that Jack and Jill needs to stand up. When I was uh, on the national board, there was a big focus on seatbelt safety. Uh, Jack and Jill says buckle up, but Jack and Jill better register and vote. Jack and Jill says register and vote. Well, what I love most is just the connection with mothers working together to raise their children. It's so energizing. It's so gratifying. And when we work together, to bring all kinds of different experiences to our children, to have the impact on our communities, and most importantly, to develop leaders. That's what I love most about Jack and Jill. Well, for me, I just really wish that we would continue to really realize we have so much power. If we would marshal our resources for the positive, focus that we can do and stop with all the distractions and anything that would deter us because people want us to be distracted. It's better for them if we are not focused on our mission and we are not focused on our children. I really, really pray and hope that we would continue to focus on the positive things and see all of the advantages that we have and the differences that we can make for our own children and for the wider community. I really hope for that to be the future of Jack and Jill. Well, when you think about legacy, you think about what will people say when I'm gone. And for me, the most important thing that I would like for people to be able to say about Alice Lee Peoples is that she honored her commitments, her commitments to God, her commitments to her family, and her commitments to her community and those that she serves. Well, that's pretty easy. Jack and Jill stands for children. So this necklace is very unique in terms of there aren't very many people who own this pendant. Uh, back in 2000, the National Executive Board decided it wanted to uh, give special recognition to uh, distinguished leaders at the regional level. And uh, I was very honored and gratified that I was selected to receive one of the awards as a mem member at large representing the Midwestern region and uh, it just means a lot to me. I have another one that has a diamond chip in it that was service for being on the National Executive Board, but this one means a lot more to me, not because I didn't appreciate my national service, but that this was my first regional position and I was able to be recognized for it as being part of an outstanding regional team. So it means a lot to me.